When we talk about weather, we always think of what weather is better and what weather is worse. Of course, a 70 degree 30% humidity sun filled day will be perfect, while a 15 degree snowy windy day will be awful. But which states have the safest weather? Let's find out. Nationwide, the United States has very different weather patterns. Some states are sunnier than others, some states are cloudier than others, some states are humid, while some states are dry. But which states are the safest from severe weather events, such as hurricanes, supercell thunderstorms, lightning, tornadoes, floods, and extreme heat or cold? In this week's episode, we will list the top 10 states for having the safest weather. Keep in mind that the safest weather doesn't necessarily mean the best weather. It means the safest of meteorologically induced natural disasters. Before we begin, if you enjoy geography and earth science content, this is a channel to watch. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, Our World, Our Planet, and Our Home. Let's start counting down. Number 10 on the list is Pennsylvania. Although Pennsylvania is a northeastern state with changeable seasons, it tends not to have a ton of natural disasters. Hurricanes may indirectly affect the state with heavy rain and some flooding, but never hit directly. Severe summer weather is usually associated with rain, wind, and lightning, but not too often tornadoes. Pennsylvania is not very dry, so wildfire risk is minimized. And seasonally, temperatures above 100 degrees and below 10 degrees are uncommon. Number 9 on the list is Alaska. It is true that Alaska is cold and dark in the winter, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's dangerous weather-wise. Since it's far north, tropical cyclones never hit the state. Severe weather such as thunderstorms and tornadoes never occur, and if wildfires occur, they generally happen over remote areas. In the Anchorage metropolitan area, where more than half of Alaskans live, severe events are limited to size and hazards, and not so much to weather-related ones. Number 8 on the list is New Hampshire. Another northeastern state, New Hampshire does have hot summers and cold winters, but since it's coastal, it's a bit more moderated than inland northeast states. Its tucked in coastal location keeps it safe from direct tropical cyclone hits. Tornadic activity is sporadic, and the humidity throughout the year keeps wildfires at bay. Overall, New Hampshire has a lot of positives protecting it from extreme weather. Next at number 7 is Ohio. Ohio's rather boring location is the reason why Ohio scores high on the safe weather state list. Even though Ohio sees hot summers and cold winters, it never really sees extremes on both ends. Ohio is not located in a tornado alley, so although severe weather does occur, it's not pronounced. Being an inland state, coastal storms like hurricanes and nor'easters never directly affect Ohio. And the humidity throughout the year keeps wildfire risk low. Number 6 on the list is Ohio's northern neighbor, Michigan. Again, the plainness of Michigan allows this state to score high on the list. Of course, winters are cold, especially in the Upper Peninsula, but the areas that are heavily urbanized are like Ohio with temperatures. Inland geography allows Michigan to be free of direct coastal storm risk, and severe weather happens on a similar scale to Ohio. If you could deal with some snow and cold between November and March, Michigan is pretty safe from bad weather. Rounding out the top five on the list is Washington State. Although this state has numerous volcanoes and seismic risk, weather-related risks are fairly low. Summers are mild to warm and dry, and winters are mild compared to continental states, especially in the most urbanized part in the Seattle metropolitan area. Severe weather is also very rare, with supercell storms and thunderstorms seldom occurring. Number 4 on the list is Oregon, another northwestern state. Seismic and volcanic risks are high, but weather-related risks are low. Severe weather like supercell thunderstorms and tornadoes are rare, and while wildfires may occur, they mostly happen in the rural areas of eastern Oregon. We have made it to the top 3 weather-safe states. If you enjoy geography and earth science content, please subscribe to my channel, Our World, Our Planet, Our Home. Let's head to the top three now. Third on the list of safe weather states is Nevada. Now I know what you're thinking. The Las Vegas area is incredibly hot in the summer with temperatures exceeding 100 many days. 
This is true, but first, the heat is a dry heat, which is still better than the humid heat of Texas. And, all the casinos have great air conditioning. Besides that, winters throughout Nevada are generally mild, especially in and around Las Vegas. Tropical storms never hit the state, and extreme supercell thunderstorms are exceptionally rare. Overall, if you can take the summer heat, Nevada is a safe weather spot. Second on the list of weather safe states is another mountain state, Utah. Utah has similar weather patterns to Nevada in that it has an arid to semi-arid climate. But what places Utah had in Nevada is that in the summer, it's a little colder. The southern parts of Utah are pretty toasty, but the Salt Lake City area, while hot, is not as hot as Las Vegas. Plus, it's dry heat as it is in Nevada. Other severe weather events such as supercell thunderstorms and floods generally do not affect the state that much. Finally, number one on the list is the island state of Hawaii. Of course, Hawaii is known for its pristine beaches and warm weather, but in terms of safety, besides volcanoes and tsunami risk, weather in Hawaii is tame. Tropical cyclones seldom hit the state, and when they do, they're usually weak. Severe storms like supercell thunderstorms or tornadoes are very rare, and other weather-related natural disasters like floods and wildfires are not common. Although, an extraordinary rare wildfire destroyed Lahaina on the island of Maui in August 2023. Meteorologically, it was induced by high winds from a hurricane passing south of the island, but some speculate that Hawaiian Electric's equipment was responsible for starting the fire on August 8th and that the power company did not de-energize their power lines when high wind watches and red flag warnings were issued by the National Weather Service. Nevertheless, this wildfire was one of the deadliest natural disasters in Hawaii's history. Although it was a major natural disaster, Hawaii still places number one on the list of weather safe states considering the rareness of all natural disasters, even including wildfires. That's the end of the list of weather safe states. As you can see, the weather safe states don't necessarily have the best weather, but rather are the least prone to natural disasters. Do you agree with this list? If you do or don't, please leave a comment and tell me what you think. Thank you so much for watching this week's episode. And again, if you enjoy learning about geography and earth science, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Our World, Our Planet, Our Home for the latest videos. Until next time!